Come a little bit closer. Come, come a little bit closer. So, so you guys might might wonder what is this? And we're here at the Rembrandt Plain in Amsterdam. This year is the Rembrandt year in uh, in Holland. Year, year 2006, the year of Rembrandt. So, uh, if you're interested in uh, museum and interested in the work of Rembrandt, come over to Holland and uh, go to the museums here at the Rijksmuseum. And, and this uh, is, uh, and this is especially, especially for this year. They they put up these statues. Pretty cool. I've never seen it before, so we just bumped into it. So we thought we'll do a little item about it. That's right. Okay, let's get on. I want to show you something. Okay. okay. It's called. It's Jerry's time. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because Rembrandt's first name was actually Jerry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not a lot of people know about. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. Jerry Rembrandt. <laughs> so, anyways, it's Jerry's time. This is a very very cool video blog. It's animation done over a voiceover. I believe it's from the guy's uh, uh, uncle. His name is Otto. And he just gets in all this trouble, you know, he gets thrown into jail and all this kind of stuff. But very cool uh, little video blog, so yeah, check me. it out. Okay. It all started when I was working at this ad agency downtown. I was hired by the print production manager. At the original interview, he had this big gash on his head. I heard he was at a bar the night before and he got hit in the head with a bottle. I was working there for a few months and I thought things were going pretty well. All of a sudden the work started diminishing, you know, they weren't bringing me any work. So I was just sitting there. Then one day he like called me into his office and he said, we've run out of work for you so you have to clean out your desk and get out. So I did know this art director there and, and he said that he had another job opportunity. Um, all you have to do is you have to drive a truck around for eight hours a day. You're like this moving billboard. So hey man, that's cool. That's cool stuff. funny. It's jerrytime.com. Go the, check it out. Okay. I have other thing for you here on my uh on your iPod? video pod here. Where are you getting the PSP back? Yeah, uh, next episode. Next episode. Have, uh, All right. Yeah, I have that PSP. That's gonna be uh, Where next is it? time. It's at home. You <laughs> <laughs> forgot it. It's too big to cake with him all the time. So anyway, this uh, vlog site is uh, by this guy in uh, St. Louis that has his own vlog. This guy is like totally crazy about live rock music, and he goes to the he goes to these gigs and he films uh, the musicians their their whole uh, performance and he just puts it on his site. It's called, but he has a site. It's called Lo-Fi St. Louis. It's really cool. He wrote to us, and the, what he's doing now, because it's his uh, year anniversary, and uh, he has like 28 movies, films that he posted in the last year. He's gonna post every day. He's gonna post, repost that uh, film, and he wants people to uh, do intros, like other vloggers, to do intros for each film and also promote themselves. Okay, cool. so we should do the same thing too. So we're yeah. gonna contact him. Uh, but anyway, this is a little clip of. Uh, of one of his films, uh, check it out. Hey, what's, what's up, up gang? gang? This is Al, Al Ian from uh, Lo-Fi St. Louis. Louis. Um, this uh, next band uh, played last summer at Frederick's Music Lounge. They call themselves, get this, the Gentleman Callers. Now, I don't know how often they call, but I can tell you this, there ain't a gentleman among them. Not one. But anyway, they put on a pretty good show. Wait, what am I saying? They put on a great show, a great show at Frederick's Music Lounge last summer. So here they are, gentlemen callers. So, so rock yeah. and roll, baby. So yeah, check it out, uh, lofistl.com. 
I really feel with all that rock and I'm kind of feeling a little carp caviar moment coming on. So, for more little carp caviar, go check out bottomunion.com. Very cool video blog. Yes. Um, okay, so now it's it. time for uh, another viral moment or what? Yeah. So, go vlog yourself. See you next time. See you next time. Next episode. Next week. Viral moments. And so, in my state of the, my state of the union, or state, my speech to the nation, whatever you want to call it, speech to the nation. <laughs> I know that human being and fish can coexist peacefully. And America needs a military where our breasts and brightest are proud to serve and proud to stay. If you're a single mother with two children, which is the toughest job in America as far as I'm concerned, and you're working hard to put food on your family, rarely is the question asked, are, is our children learning? Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their, their love with women all across the country. See, I don't think you can be. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again.